Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so this is a real quick follow-up to the video I made yesterday uh, the, about the question from Peter about uh, creating a uh, embossing or engraving on a triangle. Uh, what he actually meant is not a cone, but a uh, um, pyramid. Uh, so real quick, I'm just going to show you how to do that. It's uh, super simple. So we're going to start by creating a sketch on the plane here, and I'm actually going to cr create an, a rectangle here. Uh, let's do uh, three by three. Uh, stop sketch. Uh, and the trick here to make a, a pyramid is really quite straightforward. Uh, we're going to extrude this guy up. Again, we're going to go up three inches, um, and then we're going to set the the degrees uh, of taper angle to minus thirty, and you have your your uh, pyramid right there. Um, and so, if you want to create embossed text uh, or engraved text on this face, you would click on the face and say. Uh, create a new sketch. We can put our letter here. Uh, do a P. Uh, make it uh, pretty big. Right there. We can move it around, kind of center it, and right click on it. Uh, I don't know what happened just there. Alright. Alright, I'm going to right click on the text and we're going to say explode text again. Stop sketch. And so now you have your image is. Uh, on the, the sketch face that's actually uh, parallel um, to the um, actual pyramid here and you can now extrude it, do a press pull, uh, pull it out and it'll automatically join the face if that's what you want to do. Um, if you want it to be kind of the same, uh, what do they call it, collinear, uh, coincident, collinear with the uh, face, you can do that. Um, if you don't want, uh, if you want it to be kind of uh, Angled here, I'll show you that too, which is actually what uh, Peter did. Um, that's what he showed me. We're gonna make a face um, just out like that. Um, and we're gonna create a sketch on that face, add some text again, uh, P, make it big, bold. We will move it. Okay, right click, explode the text. And then you can extrude it uh, the same way we did the last one there. In this case, we're going to extrude it in. Uh, we're going to create a join. Um, and then there you go. Um, and so now it's kind of the text is flat with the uh, kind of XY plane and then merged in with the actual pyramid. Um, you can, if that's too big, I'll push it in like that. There you go. He also had a couple pyramids here, so I'll show you how to. Do that. We're actually just going to take this uh, body real quick, and you can recreate it from scratch if you want. But in this case, we're just going to uh, we're going to paste it um, here and move it up a little bit, so about halfway, move it over halfway. Uh, probably have to move it up a little bit more than that. Yeah, move it over a little bit just so that the uh, the P doesn't run into it to line up the. This is, uh, so that's pretty good. Um, all right, so now we have two separate bodies here, but they, uh, you can see here the lines there, and it's super easy to modify, combine, uh, select the target body, select the tool body, click join. Um, if you want to uh, keep the tool body, you can. If you want to uh, create a whole new component, you can. In this case, I'm just going to do that. And so now we have one body um, right here uh, with the pyramids and the letters. Um, all right. So I hope that answers uh, Peter's questions. I uh, appreciate you watching the videos, and uh, everyone have a great day. Thanks.